Marquise, what do you think about this defense? Uh, I think we have a lot of potential. I like uh, the guys up front and behind, so um, we just got a lot of work still to put in. We got, I don't know what, 15, 16 days away from the game, so I'm just excited to get into, obviously camp is coming to an end, and get into prep now and start working on our opponents. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this group. Where would you like to see this defense improve the most between now and September 3rd? Uh, just clean up the little things, you know, like obviously we got a lot of room to grow. So we got a lot of uh, newer guys, too, in the back end and um, young guys, too, that's coming in that might uh, like help us right away. So uh, just polishing up the little things, you know, so when we get in the season prep, we are all locked in. Who are some of those young players that are kind of pushing it up to perhaps help you right away? Uh, the young, young guys, uh, VJ right now, is he's been, he been balling at safety. Uh, um, Jake Clifton, been playing pretty well at wheel linebacker. Um, Kobe Savage, he's not a young guy, but, you know, he's been a guy that's been really making spark plays. And we just got a lot of guys that's been in the mix. Um, Jacob Parrish, been out at corner playing good. So, yeah, we just got a lot of talent going on right now, and it's been really encouraging to see. What have you thought about the inside linebacker specifically? I know Will's been dinged up a little bit, but who else um, could you see maybe playing next to you? Austin Moore, for sure. And he's a guy that's been here for a long time, too. He, he's done, you know, way this turn. And, and I, I think Austin's a smart, smart football player, and he's a really aggressive football player, too. So I'm really excited to get to play with Austin this year. I'm, I feel like he's going to surprise a lot of people this year. You mentioned that um, this is the fastest he's seen the defense play. Can you elaborate on exactly what he means by that? Uh, I think he's just talking about just um, people just seeing pictures and, and trusting, trusting what they see. I feel like especially in the back end, too, I've been seeing a lot of guys that come in, like I was talking about Kobe Savage, uh, Drake, um, Sincere is coming back, and those guys are flying around right now because Coach Clenham is a good coach, and he kind of coaches them up well. When they see something, they, they play fast and kind of similar with the linebacker position, too. And, I just feel like guys has been flying around making plays, and I think that's what he means by that. Can you explain that patch and what that means to you? Uh, this right here, yeah. uh, this is this is the prize fighter patch, and it just means, uh, you know, prize fighter is like every week we got uh, our four goals, and then we have the prize fighter award. So I got this a while back, and it's a, it's an honor to be able to wear this patch, meaning, you know, I was a prize fighter one week. Where are you from a mental approach in year four versus where you were in year one? Uh, a lot different, you know. <laughs> Obviously, I was drowning in just so much uh, back then my first year, like most guys are, you know, getting tossed a playbook and not really knowing what to expect. So now, like, the games, I feel like it's slowing down a lot more for me, and I'm just working on the little things, trying to polish up my game. Just because we talked about a year ago, you guys were still putting in the three-man front. You were all learning how to work that. How much more comfortable are you and the rest of the guys in it now? So much more comfortable because, of, like, like you said, we was going from four down to three down mid practice and uh, game planning for the first game. We were having packages where we don't know if we're going to be more four down or three down just based off of how we're playing in either one. So now that we're just locked in on one, we're I feel like everyone's playing a lot faster because, you know, we're just trying to everyone gets the philosophy now and what we're trying to do with this defense. So we're playing a lot faster. Is this the most together you guys have been as a team since you've been here? Coach Malone and Kleiman have both talked about that. Now. Yeah, I really do. I really think this locker room is really close, and I feel like it's just uh, the leadership on this team right now, just on defense side of the ball and the offense side of the ball. And then you got older guys who are specialists too, like Ty Zender and uh, um, Randon Platner. Even those type of guys are great leaders, and we just got a group of guys that really love being around each other, and we just want to get after it. We're all excited to do so, and we still got work to put in, but we're really excited. What are the challenges of defending Adrian Martinez? Uh, the challenges, I mean, everyone talks about his running ability, but he's really, he can throw that thing. Like, he's really good throwing the ball. Like, he, he's good at looking us off because he knows a lot of times we're, we're playing his eyes and he'll look us off and know where he's going with the ball. And that's vet moves. You know, you see people in the NFL do that type of stuff, play with people's eyes and then come back to stuff. So he's just a good football player. He's been around a long time. And obviously he can run. So that's double threat. So, yeah, really good football player. Everybody knows about Felix, and what about Nate Matlock? What kind of strides have you seen him make? Yeah, he's he he came in last year being a good football player right off the bat, and I just think for him, 
he's going the game's going to slow down even more for him just seeing pictures and seeing formations and knowing what he might get and obviously like the first year watching film it's a little different from the second year cuz now you know what to watch so i just feel like he's going to come out this year and have a special year too how much does that throw you off as a defender when you got a quarterback who's constantly playing tricks with you with his eyes uh well usually if, if you pick up that's what he's doing i probably won't bite the second third time if he like, you know, if that happens, so we know he's probably trying to look us off. And then you see the philosophy. Usually formations can tell you what you're trying to, what you might get. So just things like that would help you out with those type of situations.